talk to you if I was. It's me. Um, just a second. I'll go out the back. Oh, what are you waiting for? Sorry, I thought you were in the laundry room and you couldn't hear me knocking. I used my key. That's why I gave them to you so you can come and go as you please. I know. First time I use it, I drag you away from the one thing you've probably been longing for all day. <sighs> what do you think that is? What, you weren't about to have a shower or a bubble bath or something? That's exactly what I need to do right now. So what are you doing here? Nothing. I just uh, went online and pulled up the specs on that little piece of land we found. It's called Woodlot 17, by the way. Let me see. How did they word it here? It's three unspoiled acres and a babbling brook. Uh, sounds pretty nice, right? Yeah. I don't know what a babbling brook is, but <laughs> I think it's the perfect place to have our new house. So, here's the deal. I figure that we can manage an offer on the land if we sell this place, but that's all we're gonna have is land. Not enough for a house? Not even close. And it's it's not just the structure. I mean, we need an access road, electricity. I have to drill a well and put in a septic. I'm talking a lot of cash. Mm. Lots. Wow, well, that, that was a really nice dream. What are you talking about? We're not gonna give up that easy. We can still swing it. We've got friends in high places. Might have to swallow our pride a little, but... Listen, I was thinking... I know it's a little awkward, but, uh... I'm not above asking Nicholas for a loan. No. No, absolutely not. I completely understand if you don't want to be in debt to Nicholas. I was just throwing out options. No, I, I, I know, and I'm sorry. I, I just feel that if, if we're going to do this, then we should do it. No, I, I hear you. Believe me, it wasn't even easy for me to suggest it, but aren't you always saying that pride gets in the way? Yeah, I might have said that a time or two. Yeah, well, it has for me more than once. And there were times in the past where Nicholas could have, I mean, he would have helped us get through some rough patches, but I just wasn't open to it. Well, you always said that you would end up presenting him. So I think it's best if we just keep him out of our new life and manage things ourselves. Okay. okay. If that's all it is. What do you mean? No, it's just, uh, almost seems like you have a problem with Nicholas himself. You might want to tell me what's going on between you guys. Well, haven't you noticed that Nicholas hasn't been himself lately? Should be more specific. Well, ever since Emily died, he's been, I don't know, self-destructive and dysfunctional, and instead of getting better, he's getting worse. He said the same thing to me the other day. I don't know, I th I'm seeing the opposite, though. Really? I don't know why. What prompted it. it? Just seems like he has a different sense of purpose right now. He's he'll probably never be happy. He's a Cassidy. Mm -hmm. But all in all, I think he's doing better actually. Do you think it's because of Rebecca? I guess so. They're doing okay, right? Not if he's telling the truth. What do you mean? Lucky, it, it's not about Rebecca. Sorry, I'm on call. Shots fired. Okay, I gotta go. Sorry, here, uh, mm -hmm. I'll leave the paperwork with you. Woodlot 17, you can look it over while you have your bubble bath or whatever. I'll see you. Bodies fell, casings, a 
fresh bullet holes over here. Looks like two groups. One heading into this building. Joey and his guys are waiting. They open fire. Maybe it was the other way around. Look, we've got tire tracks over here. Yeah. Maybe they pulled up, got out, took Joey Limbo and company out, and fled the scene. Could be, but it doesn't feel right. Joey Limbo wouldn't have just stood around in plain sight waiting to get whacked. I'm thinking you set an ambush and it turned on him. Did him. Wonder who Joey was trying to take out. Something's off here. What do you think? I'm not sure. It certainly won't go on the record until the autopsy is performed. Educated guess? Well, this man didn't die from that gunshot wound. He inhaled blood. Somebody crushed his windpipe. Is the body in the right position for someone who died like that? If someone's standing on your neck... Your face up. Post. I want Joey Limbo photographed from every conceivable angle. Got a real bad feeling about this one. 